At this point, we would like to invite our own Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, our Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, a digital Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Alahadi, Dr. Alahadi, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, to give us a message at conference. Thank you very much, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. Sit down. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Please take much. your seats. Hello. Hello. Please take your seats so we can get on with the program. Please take, Please your, take seat. your seats. Please take, take your, your seats. seats. Take your seats. Take your seats. So we can take get your on seat. with yes. the program. Please. Yes. Take your seats. We are going to yes. continue the, the program. Yes. We understand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank take your seats. Take your seats. Please take your seats. We understand the love is deep, but please take your seats. Please take your seats. His Excellency, the Vice President, is about to address conference. Please let's be disciplined. Take your seats. Yes, it's okay. Please let's leave conference arena back to your seats. Please take your seats. Our men in blue kindly make sure that our distinguished delegates take their seats. Please take your seats. If you don't take your seat, he cannot speak. His Excellency, the Vice President, cannot address you, cannot address conference. Please, please take your seats. The people at the seats. center, the people at the center, please. Please take your seats. Please. Kukrudu. 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 The national chairman of the new patriotic party, Honorable Freddie Blay. Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Ghana. Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, Your Excellency, the First Lady, 
Rebecca Rakufuado, Her Excellency the Second Lady, Samira Baumia, Your Excellency, former President John Ajekum Kufuo, who is watching us from home, Chief of Staff, Senior Advisor to the President, the members of the National Council, Honorable Ministers of State, the General Secretary, Adjun Kessie John Boedu, Majority Leader, First Deputy Speaker, the Chairman and members of the Council of Elders, members of the Diplomatic Corps, National Regional Constituency and Polling Station Executives, rank and file of the Kukrudu family, representatives of other political parties, members of the media, I greet you all. Assalamu alaikum. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, delegates, this is our first annual delegates conference since the 2020 election. Congratulations to each and every one of us for our victory in the 2020 elections. My thanks goes to our foot soldiers, polling station executives, electoral area coordinators, constituency executives, regional executives, national executives, party supporters, who in diverse ways work so hard for our victory. Those who were in the markets, those who went door to door, those who contributed resources, those who manned the polling stations, those who collated the results, those who secured the pink sheets, and so on. Aiko to all of you. Interestingly, ladies and gentlemen, interestingly, the NDC decided to challenge our victory at the Supreme Court. However, rather than mounting a serious effort, they rather went to the Supreme Court to tell us that the Electoral Commission gave them tea without biscuits. <laughs> you remember that when we went to the Supreme Court after the 2020 election to challenge the results, we presented over 10,000 pink sheets to support our case, over 10,000 pink sheets. We told the court that we were relying on the data contained in the pink sheets because you and I were not there. When Asiedun Ketia went to the Supreme Court, he was asked, where is your evidence? Where are your pink sheets? Now pink sheets no way. I see it in Ketia said, and I paraphrase him, my lords, the pink sheets are not there. Then why are you here? <laughs> he said, my lord, we are not here to challenge the results. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, their election petition was fundamentally incompetent. And the bottom line is that they had no evidence to challenge our victory, notwithstanding all the noise they made to deceive their supporters. Kukrudu! Kukrudu! It is very important to remind ourselves that our party, the Dankwa Dombo Buzia tradition, was built on the patriotism, strategic thinking, actions, dedication, sacrifices, and accomplishments of such great political icons of our tradition and our party, such as Dr. J.B. Dankwa, 
Chief SD Dombo, Bafuo Osei Akoto, Edward Akufuado, William Oforiata, Alagi Yakubu Tali the Tolona, Obechebi Lamti, Professor K. Buzia, Jato Kaliu, Nabaifa Kabu, Alhaji Aliu Mahama, C.K. Tedam, S.G. Anto, Albert Edubwahi, R.R. Aponsa, J.B. Darocha, J.H. Mensa, J.A. Kufuo, and of course, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. Without them, we would not be here. We are also indebted to so many men and women who have sacrificed and continue to sacrifice for our party and country on a daily basis, most of whom may not have gotten outward recognition. Mr. Chairman, it is our collective responsibility as members of the great Kukrudu family and as Ghanaians to ensure that the sacrifices of these great men and women have not been in vain. They have built and handed over to us a party and a tradition that we must always treasure. We have a charge to continue this great legacy. We have worked hard as a government under the visionary leadership of His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Kufuadu. And we are committed to continuing to serve the good people of Ghana. Protecting our efforts, vision, and legacy means we necessarily have to break the eight, as we have termed it. In this regard, let us all be aware that breaking the eight will not be easy. It has not been done before in our history, but I believe if we are united, inshallah, we will break the eight. United we stand and divided we fall. Our success will depend on how well we conduct ourselves going forward. A strong united party with a focus on highlight, highlighting our successes while countering the desperate, misleading, and misguided NDC propaganda. Rather than taking down each other, we must focus on taking down the NDC, who will be a disaster for this country. Kukrudu, the MPP has a solid record of achievement in the Fourth Republic. Our party has become the most important driver of the Ghanaian vision and development agenda. We have been responsible for mo the most important policies which touch every Ghanaian in every corner of our nation. The NHRS, school feeding, free antenatal services, free SHS, and so on. As we meet here today at conference, we are reminded that this, it is the party that birthed the government. Thus, strengthening party government relations is key to our collective success. I believe, by the grace of God, we will be able to break the eight because our record is a superior record. Whether we are talking about agriculture, industry, roads, housing, education, health, transformational policies like digitalization, social interventions, and so on, the comparison between us and our opponents is like night and day. Can you really remember any transformational policy implemented by the NDC in their last eight years in government? Can you remember any social intervention implemented by the NDC in their last eight years in government to reduce suffering? We, on the part of the MPP under the leadership of Nana Kufuado, we can give you at least 25 social interventions we have implemented to reduce suffering of people in this country. Kukrudu! Kukrudu! It is important 
to acknowledge that we in the MPP have not solved all the problems facing Ghanaians, but we have solved many problems and we have a plan we are working to. After all, let us all remember that we are only in our first year of a four-year mandate. This is just the first year. We are not even at half time. We are given a four-year mandate and we are only in our first year. The COVID-19 pandemic has increased the cost of living virtually everywhere in the world, including countries like the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, Japan, France, and so on. Nevertheless, it is important to remind ourselves that notwithstanding the global adverse impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on economic growth, on debt levels, and on deficits, at the macroeconomic level, inflation today, notwithstanding all of these challenges, inflation today stands at 12.2%, which is lower than what it was in 2016 which was 15.4%. Average bank lending rates today at 21% is much lower than what they were in 2016 at 32%. According to the Bank of Ghana, the average exchange rate depreciation over the last four years of our first term is the lowest for any first term government since 1992. The year 2020 recorded one of the lowest rates of depreciation of the currency in 28 years. And the cumulative exchange rate depreciation this year to November 2021 stands at 2.6%. In, in 2016, it was 9.7%. For the first time in over two decades, the trade balance, that is the difference between our exports and our imports, recorded a surplus for four consecutive years. This is for the first time in 24 consecutive years. And this year, the data shows that it will be five consecutive years, notwithstanding COVID. Gross international reserves are at $10.8 billion, 4.9 months of import cover compared to $6.9 billion, 3.5 months in 2016. Our record of creating jobs, we've created over 750,000 jobs, is vastly superior to the record of the NDC government, which froze public service recruitment. So, ladies and gentlemen, if our performance on the key macroeconomic indicators, inflation, interest rates, depreciation, external reserves, trade balance, jobs. If our performance on all these key macroeconomic indicators during the worst pandemic in a hundred years, if this performance is better than your performance without such a pandemic, how can you say your economic management is better? Kukrudu. The changes we are making as a party in government are historic. The changes we are making are historic. And we are building on the distinguished legacy of President J. Kufuo. Ours is a government that is thinking outside the box to transform Ghana. Under the leadership of Nanado Dankwa Kufuadu, for the first time in our history, Ghana has successfully issued a digital national ID card. For the first time in our history, Ghana has implemented a digital property address system. About 88% of all the NCA licensed fiber optic investment that we have in Ghana, total investment, of all of that, 88% of that was undertaken under the government of Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu. 
For the first time in our history, Ghana has mobile money interoperability. The people may take this for granted, but when we came into office, the NDC was trying to implement this for $1.2 billion. We spent $4.5 million to implement mobile money interoperability. And by implementing mobile money interoperability, we have been able to create a digital economy. Total mobile money transactions in 2016 was 78 billion. By the end of this year, mobile money transactions will hit about 800 billion. This is what we mean by creating a digital economy. Last year, we were at 570 billion. For the first time in our history, any Ghanaian who has a national ID card can open a bank account just using their mobile phone. For the first time in our history, over 80% of adults in Ghana have a tax identification number. When we came into office, it was just 4%. For the first time in our history, Ghana has drones for medical delivery, and Ghana is the world's largest medical de drone delivery service. For the first time in our history, Ghana is implementing one district, one hospital under Agenda 111. By the grace of God, by the end of our second term, we would have built more hospitals than any government in our history. For the first time in our history, Ghana is implementing one district, one factory. Our government has facilitated the establishment of more than 100 factories, more than any government since independence. For the first time in our history, Ghana has paperless clearing of goods at our ports. We have digitized passport acquisition. For the first time in our history, we have digitized the process of obtaining a driver's license. For the first time in our history, Ghana has implemented the Ghana.gov platform, a one-stop shop for public service delivery. The United States government only last week signed an order asking that they also implement USA.gov. So we took the lead ahead of the United States at the Ghana.gov platform. For the first time in our history, Ghanaians can renew their NHIS membership from their mobile phone. For the first time in our history, Ghanaians can apply for scholarships on their mobile phone. For the first time in our history, students can apply for student loans without the need for a guarantor. For the first time in our history, government is implementing a pension scheme for cocoa farmers. For the first time in our history, Ghanaians and law enforcement can find out the insurance status of any vehicle on their mobile phone using the motor insurance database. For the first time in our history, Ghanaians were provided free electricity for lifetime consumers for a year during the COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time in our history, Ghanaians were provided 50% reduction in electricity tariffs for non-lifeline consumers for a whole year during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time in our history, Ghanaians were provided free water for a year during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time in our history, import duties on all goods were reduced by 50% all goods and on cars by 30% since 2019. For the first time in our history, government has provided free Wi-Fi to 700 senior high schools, 42 colleges of education, and public 30 public universities. For the first time in our history, Ghanaian pensioners can obtain SNIT pension 10 days, just 10 days after making an application. For the first time in our history, Ghana will be implementing a nationwide e-pharmacy, which I will launch next week. We will be one of the few countries in the world with a nationwide e-pharmacy. For the first time in our history, 
Ghana government has implemented one constituency, one ambulance. And for the first time in our history, government has established Zongo Development Fund. We have built more roads in our first term than any first term government in the Fourth Republic, and we are continuing. For the first time in our history, we are implementing free TVET, and we have established the Ghana TVET service. For the first time in our history, our government, under the visionary leadership of Nana Kufuadu, has implemented free SHS and confounded the naysayers. And by the grace of God, for the first time in our history, we will break the eight. The future is bright for the youth and for Ghana. So let's stay with the elephant. The NDC cannot tell you what they have done historically to change this country. They can only criticize. Let us stay with the elephant. Thank you for your attention. God bless the MPP and God bless our homeland, Ghana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank His you. Excellency, the Vice Thank President you. of the Republic of Thank Ghana, you. for such a clear elucidation of the achievements of our government. We thank you very much. We thank you very much. Please, the man in blue, could you escort this young man from the perimeter? We're going to continue with the program.